Hello everyone, I thought I'd do a quick video on this thing I found in the Play Store. It's called X Server X SDL. And uh, this is basically an X11 server for Android. Uh, it is based on SDL and uses that Android SDL wrapper that a number of other Android apps seems to use. But it doesn't have the custom like keys here joystick things that there's only one button in the top left to activate the keyboard so i will just run and before i go uh, before i start uh, this demonstration is not directly running on this tablet i uh, i mean the x the x11 server is but the actual software and stuff is actually running off my uh, editing pc which i have running over here you can't really see the display because I have it set at a lower brightness because I usually use this at night. So I'm at the command line now. It says you have new mail but I don't know how to clear that. In Debian 8 I was able to use the mat command to do that but uh, never mind. I don't really care about that right now. So my tablet just went back to sleep mode so I'll have to uh, go back into that. So I already set my uh, settings and stuff, large cursor for tablets. I'm going to tap the screen to change. In my case, I have to set 24 by 768 and select the font scale to be 0 0.5. And the keyboard will be... I'll just use the built-in one for now. Uh, separate keys, yes. Although I couldn't really see them. I think those buttons are actually invisible. But anyways... Uh, on the X11 root window, they actually have these ins uh, instructions for uh, mainly t uh, for that demonstration video they had in the Play Store. But that was for an earlier version before the developer actually figured out how to get the pulse audio forwarding to the tablet itself. So the sounds you'll be hearing are coming from this tablet. They are not coming from the speakers on the computer. And I actually have this uh, secondary monitor turned off because... <clears throat> I have the audio routed through the secondary monitor to the speakers. I have the monitor turned off now so there's no sound going through. So what I'm going to do is do these commands here. Before I continue, I saw Victor Tran in the Play Store and apparently this app doesn't work in Android 7.0. However, I am still running 6.0.1 on this tablet so it does work for me. There was one other Play Store review that I can't seem to find, so I won't show that. But now I have the uh, command to start Trinity. So I'll do that right now, and it should overwrite this root window with instructions. 3, 2, 1. And there it is, we have Trinity running right now. And uh, one thing that I noticed is that it actually I actually have a custom background set up here, but uh, Trinity seems to have defaulted to the uh, to its default background here. So uh, but I do have a custom background that kind of matches this gray color scheme that I have uh, this gray color scheme that I have set up right now. So if I actually open something like the control center, again this is all not running off direct. This is not running directly off the tablet. Okay, the screen has gone blank. Oh. Uh, Failed to connect. Oh yeah, I'm getting some errors over here. Failed to sh oh, Yeah, something's not right here. So I'm gonna have to control C and just crash it. And I'm gonna start try again here. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a little bit buggy. 
okay. I'm gonna have to abort that using Control C, and I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and start that again. Okay, I think I know what happened. It actually switched over to for it actually switched over to cellular data. The one that it actually broke. Yeah, so I don't think it's actually a bug. It's just because my tablet decided to switch back to cellular data. So that's why it stopped working. So I have to turn off cellular and try and get to my Wi-Fi so I can try this again. I don't I don't understand why my tablet decided to drop off drop out of Wi-Fi when the Wi-Fi is router is right there just like maybe one meter away and it just drops out Ugh. okay take three uh, I managed to put it back onto uh, Wi-Fi I'll try the command again Uh, there's some errors on the screen here and we'll just go and hide discord yeah but the sounds do work so I'm gonna tr uh, open up pale moon here I don't think they have an ARM version uh, that could run in uh, GNU root Debian on this tablet right here but even then this tablet is only like a 16 gigabyte tablet so only have maybe three to four gigabytes of free space here but there it is it's actually loading uh, yeah i'm mean, of course i'm already signed to youtube so i'm gonna go ahead and yeah i'm actually using the uh classical x11 cursors uh debian actually has a cursor team enabled by default but i will just write in the description how to actually disable that and use the regular x11 cursors if that's your thing Oh, I'm actually signing to my YTP account. So I will just go and uh, switch over to my main channel. But yeah, this so far is actually working great with the uh, S Pen. So I'm going to go and minimize this here. And you can actually right click with the S Pen by just hovering and then you click the little button on the pen. Uh, that actually conflicts with Samsung Air Command as you saw just now. However, that isn't really a problem for me since uh, Android programs usually don't have a right click. And interestingly enough, it actually showed uh, the... Uh, no, it's a little bit hard to explain, but I actually have a little kicker panel at the t bottom here, uh, sized properly for this display, 1680 by 1050 resolution. It looks a bit squished on here because this is only 10 to 4 bytes on 68. But I will just go over and load my video. Of course, I don't expect it to be too smooth even though this is running on Wi-Fi. Surprisingly, playback is almost smooth. There is slight audio lag, but again, uh, this is running on a local network, and this computer is connected via a wired connection to this router, and then the tablet is connected from Wi-Fi and over just a short distance. So, that's probably like kind of the fastest I can be. But we're not here to watch YouTube. I want to go ahead and show other stuff like. Control center. This is actually running on Debian 9. And I actually had to get the uh, development release because they haven't had a, a, a official stable release for Debian 9 just yet. Because it only came out maybe uh, a few days ago, I think. So it's still very new. Colors.
so yeah i do actually have like kind of a gray color scheme going on here and this is the crystal team from that i that you may recognize from k ubuntu 8.04 except that i kind of put in my gray color scheme and i made it look a bit like windows vista for some reason i don't know why but I'm going to just test the keyboard input here. I'm going to just go into Discord. The clicking doesn't really work right with the pen because it sometimes needs some dragging, but I guess that's to be expected. I'm going to just tap this little green icon here to pull up the keyboard, which I have set to the system keyboard. No, no, I think actually that button there opens the system keyboard. Uh, but if I just... If I tap the back button instead, yeah, that opens the built-in keyboard, which is what I have set. So yeah, the little uh, green icon there, that's what you would use to open the Android keyboard. Yeah, I don't really have the shift thing. I was going to show something but it kind of crashed so it's not very stable. It can crash if the Wi-Fi connection drops out. But this is just something I wanted to experiment with. As you can see the mouse uh, cursor isn't changing when I hover over the text area. So that's a problem there. And the clock also hasn't updated. It's stuck at 359. Uh, the clock has moved on the device itself so uh, I'm gonna tr try and see if I can just crash this and just do it again yeah unable to open display uh, control C I'm gonna just probably do a restart and try this again. I'm gonna go and try and start again after restarting the computer. Maybe I shouldn't really try something with a lot of text input. Now you can actually kind of see a little bit of extract that. Yeah, I'm just uh It's a little bit oh no wonder no wonder I did it wrong because I it keeps thinking I'm dragging so it's actually creating multiple favorites there. So I need to go and clear that. So that's one thing you have to be careful if you're using a pen is that sometimes you'll think you're dragging because uh, of the sensitivity so if you just use your finger that should be fine then to right click uh, I have it set to use two fingers to right click I'm gonna try the text testing again by using the system keyboard Okay, I did it right the first time. I got the, I got the spelling right the first time, which is interesting because I can't really see the text box. Uh, when I'm using the keyboard, okay. Uh, whatever reason. The, oh, I can. Okay, I can. I can actually scroll it around just like with the Microsoft uh, official remote desktop app for Android. So I'm gonna just press enter, and post the message, which appears to have crashed. Yeah. So it doesn't seem to be very stable for text input. I'll try again. I'm 
I'm pretty sure the reason why this is crashing is because the Wi-Fi on my tablet keeps dropping out. So it, cr it that's why it crashes. So maybe, uh, so I'm pretty sure this would be stable if the Wi-Fi doesn't, I mean, if the Wi-Fi didn't just keep dropping out while I'm making this video. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty stable. Maybe it's going to be more stable if you're actually running this directly on your tablet using something like GNU Root Debian. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, I guess it didn't actually do the shutdown here even though I actually selected shutdown in that menu. But anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.